You know me very well, and you know that when it comes to doing taxes, uh, our business license, putting away money, yeah, planning, yeah. financial planning, any of that gives me anxiety. Not good with numbers. Never yeah. been good with math. Not my area of expertise. Yeah. But I use KDK Accountancy Corporation, and my anxiety is relieved. 100%. It's great having an accountant for our business that's also our financial advisor because he can advise us and do exactly what to do uh, that would benefit us the best. Yeah, well, people ask me, what does he specialize in? What what do you need? He can specialize in anything because he gives you that personal, tailored financial expertise is what I would call it. Yeah, him and his team have been handling our businesses accounting for years now and our personal financial planning with our college funds for our kids, our retirement funds. If you need any of that, go to OrlandoCPA.net and go see Bernie, our accountant, our financial advisor. He's great, trustworthy, and we love him. OrlandoCPA.net. With us in the studio, I know he's tired, he's uh, exhausted. which uh, which kind of leads me into my first question for yeah, Marlon. Let's make it fast. But he's uh, he's, he's gonna, adding shows too because he's selling out like I know crazy. He's going to be at the Improv all weekend long. It's a first uh, ever for us. We usually do the two two one. Then lately, there's been a two two none. People don't do the Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're doing a two two two. I normally do a uh, three four or three three. Two. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I did a four o'clock. Last time I was here, I did a four, two four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, shows. yeah. So Marlon Wayne's is here. How you doing, Marlon? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, a beer? Beer? Yeah. what kind of good beer you got? Travis, get him, yeah. get him, yeah. a, get him an array of beers. Yeah, yeah. We got, uh, we got a bunch of craft beer. In we there. got our own beer that they made for our event, Sofa and Sods. Yeah, yeah. We got uh, some. Uh, I don't know if I trust what, your beer. It's good. IPA, pale ale. He has or... a weird toe. I don't want to. <laughs> no, oh, oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> I didn't notice you were gonna notice my toe. Well, I... he notices everything. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> very observant. Yeah. Oh, that... you want to come get one of these? What's this? Yeah, lighthearted is good as hell. I don't know if you've had that. Do you like bells? Uh, you like the bells too hearted? I don't know. Let's it, try it. It's hoppy, but it's it's hoppy, but it's not going to blow your tits off. It's good. I yeah, like yeah, that. It's one. a little bit hoppy and blow your tits off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think my tits is ever going to blow off. Yeah, yeah. So hey, DC, you want a beer? Yeah, yeah. Help yourself. Come in here yeah. and have a beer, man. Hey, yeah, make you yourself at home. You want. Yeah, yeah. You're tired. We're gonna we're gonna get you a beer. Get your sleepy little baby. Get sleep in the <laughs> on the crazy. way home. So speaking of being tired, Marlon. Um, it, it, and and you were just saying you usually do a three two. I mean, it's, it, we uh, added what? a show. I saw that. That's yeah. what I woke up to this morning. He's like, I'm adding another Sunday show. I'm like, well, in a day and age when most comedians that we meet, they're like, ah, fuck, fuck the Sunday. We're yeah, not yeah. doing the Sunday. We've always <laughs> said when you come to talk to us, why don't you, they want to do a Sunday? What's you want to work? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't they like money? What's going on? <laughs> they. That's what we say because we're we're those guys too. We're like they're like oh like with this. It's like oh you sold all of them. Well let's sell more of them. Let's yeah, open it up. But, but even we don't have the work ethic that Marlon's no. got, and I, we're I, trying. I am obsessed with that, and and maybe you have some insight for us because. Marlon, are you born with that work ethic that yeah. you have? And and that's you didn't learn that. That wasn't taught to you. My dad was a, is a very hard worker, you know. But um, it's just something I always wanted. I liked working hard. I asked my my brothers like when they would come home, Sean would sit next to Keenan. I would go to the store and I would get uh, breakfast, and yeah. I would cook breakfast for the entire family. Uh-huh. I always yeah, a huge liked breakfast. working hard. That's just what I just, when I worked in sneaker stores, I was always the hardest worker. So hard work is just what I love to do. Now I'm doing something I love to do, which is comedy, and I don't mind working at it because the more you do it, the better you get. So I'm going to be nice as hell, son. <laughs> yeah. that, I mean, And he was just added to the biggest collection of comedians I've ever seen ever put together that Netflix deal. Yeah, and um, in the smallest theater. But still, you got to start somewhere. Why are you, why'd they put you in the smallest theater? I don't know. I'm not tripping. I, I, it's not the smallest theater. It's, a, um, it's, it's my first time doing something like this, so I, I don't I don't. Well, you've been doing comedy for 10 years. Yeah. Eight yeah. years. I'm still a rookie. Well, I guess. Compared yeah, to yeah, some yeah, of the people yeah, that have yeah. been doing it for yeah. 30 years, 40, 20, 30 years, I've been doing it eight years. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm progressing at a good rate. I'm, I think I'm way funnier now than I was when I first started. Sure. Especially on the stage. Like, you, you just get it. It starts hitting you, like the Matrix, and everything goes in slow motion. You go, here's the joke. Here's when I'm going to take it. And it's not about the jokes, it's about the storytelling. 
Marlon, you, like uh, you talk about the uh, work ethic you have, you, it's, you're born with it, and I, I, I truly believe. Like I look at my two sons, and I hope like they're only you four and kids? five. Yeah, I got yeah, four and five. They're know. young. Who let uh, you come in them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. I, some uh, some bitchy old crow. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'll tell you. Uh, I'm sorry, um, but. Uh, the, <laughs> I look at my sons and I'm like, man, I hope you have whatever that is, that that drive, that work ethic, um, because I really... Marlon, did your father cut grapes for you as a child? (laughs) Did he what? Cut grapes? We never had grapes. (laughs) This is what he's doing. That's a delicacy. To his children. I don't well, know, but I but every I, morning he makes them a Cracker Barrel yes. style big ass breakfast. But they're four good and five. White father, he's, <laughs> a, good, he's a good white father. He is. You leave that man alone. You leave Cleaver <laughs> Beaver alone. Yeah, they're they're not going to have Cleaver Beaver. But <laughs> a work ethic when no, you do everything for him. No, no you know what? You'll Cleaver. be surprised. Your boy, yeah. I do a lot for my kids. Here's yeah. the thing. Let them work at the thing they love working hard at. Mm. You know what I mean? So many times, they like, work, work. You no, know, like life isn't just. Like work, it's not always yeah. happy for some people. That's just me, you know what I mean? Like I love working, but that doesn't mean everybody likes working. Maybe I'm working so that my kids don't have to, and they could enjoy life their way. And maybe they take yeah. the money that I leave them and they go start some business for lazy people that <laughs> wind up making hundreds of millions of dollars because they know to make their money that daddy worked hard for work. Yeah, everybody yeah. has their own genius, yeah. and the you path know, is different. My dad worked. Yeah, everybody's path is my dad taught me hard work and he didn't even know it. He just was a hard worker and I used to always look across from his room and go, Man, I wanna work like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 My brother Sean used to look and go, Not me, but <laughs> Yeah, 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 but it's, you can work like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'll you, have that because your boys are totally different. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that it's ever like that hard work gene that you got is is it a curse ever to you? Do you do you feel do you can you relax? Can you do nothing without feeling that you are wasting time? It was a it was a curse for for the Africans when they came to America. <laughs> <laughs> These guys love working. <laughs> I don't know. Build America. They loved it, but build it. Come on, guys. Build America. Okay, let's do it. We're not do shit. Can, can you build it? Can, um, no, yeah. I, I think that. Um, look, it, it, it works for me. It doesn't mm. work for everybody. I love. Hard work it trans translates into everything I do as a human being. So. Yeah, you're the only person I know that tired with sold out shows will still do media. I know, yeah, and I think I, I think I asked you that last time, and you're like, "Yeah, that's what I'm fucking supposed to do. I'm supposed to do the fucking media. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I yeah, do." Yeah, because then when you come in town and you actually need to do it, you know, they're all gonna be there for you because that's just what you do. It's not about right. whether you need it or not. You're always promoting something. Right, right. So it's not about these mind. shows. It's like uh, these shows gonna sell out. I, I'm cool on that, but you know, it's about the next time. I'm in town because the next time I'm in town I'll play a theater and then the next time I'm in town I'm going to play a, a center and so it's just you know over time and people like to be connected and they like to talk and they like to hear about stuff so come on talk shit to people in Orlando and, and that, everywhere for now you guys are big I remember this was a closet now yeah, yeah, it, ha- it has <laughs> now you got all kinds of dope because we had you in 2016 2019 and now yeah I was gonna I remember I wanted to do this and I actually took pictures of it and I was just like I don't know if I want to talk to people like that yeah, 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 it's yeah, just, yeah. I just can't. I don't. I don't it's like a grind, man. It's, I don't uh, like talking that much. It's like I don't. I don't know what to ask you. I, I don't. I could maybe talk by myself, but even mm. then, I'm like, what do I talk about? And I don't want to talk about the news. It's fucking depressing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. bad. Yeah. Fuck coronavirus. Yeah, it's yeah. the flu. I, I don't. It's, uh, it's bad out there. It's, it's, I, I mean, losing their minds. You live in California. That's your home base, correct? Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's. Uh, I'm sure out there, people are uh, going nuts, right? They're going nuts everywhere. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, if check, go check. Uh, airline stocks go check uh cruiser yeah, yeah. cruise line oh, yeah, yeah, stocks yeah. Down parks 60 percent these yeah, things yeah, yeah. which for me i'm sitting there going as soon as corona virus lets up i am buying all that shit because yeah, that's yeah. that's what the discounts are because yeah, yeah, they're yeah. like right now they're they've got uh theaters are closed in china so imagine a movie like uh, that pixar film onward is released this weekend right what's gonna happen yeah, yeah, yeah. All well, the theaters in China, and they count on that, right? Concerts. I mean, yeah, I mean, that shit's shut down. Yeah, entertainers. Sporting events. Meanwhile, my shit is sold out. Well, that's <laughs> great. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, good yeah, yeah. Marlon looks clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I, although I am not, I'm not going to do, I'm probably not going to do meet and greet. 
because everybody wants to shake a hand. Yeah. And yeah, that's yeah. a lot of handshakes. So I'll make you laugh, but then I don't know if I'll we'll come back and shake a hand. And I don't want to tell everybody I'm not shaking a hand, Corona, because I don't be weird. I'm just not going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, better. Yeah, 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 Why yeah. even uh, discuss it? They're shutting down like meet and greets. They're talking about shutting them down. I know this is going to break your heart, Sam, at Disney. Yeah, not going to meet any characters yeah, anymore. Yeah. Uh, all that kind I of shit. I think it's weird to meet the characters. It's all going to be shut down. <laughs> it is, it is yeah. bizarre. It, it, well, hey, we, why do you want to touch kids so much? <laughs> I don't. I don't like children. So. No, no, she doesn't like <laughs> I can tell by the way you talk about his kids. You cutting their grapes? <laughs> That's what fathers do. <laughs> the kids are cute. I don't uh, cut no grapes. Not for me. I got, you got teeth. Well, Bite it in half. M- wow. Mar- Marlon, speaking of kids, uh, I saw on TMZ, and this is bizarre that we live in a world where you know so much about everybody and literally minute shit. Well, but I know shit about Marlon just from reading the, just reading, you and I were reading the news. We're like, let's see. I know so much (laughs) weird, dumb shit that I shouldn't even know just because the media will come at you. Yeah. Probably you can name some dumb shit with it. Well, yeah, yeah. What, what dumb shit? I'll tell you, you true or false. I was talking about the uh, TMZ story about uh, you yelling at your uh, kids' uh, basketball refs. True. At, uh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like any dad would. That yeah. is a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. you know but, you didn't do what my dad did. My dad threw resin chairs at the soccer field. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. I was close to that. He'd be pissed as hell. You because know? they would call. They weren't calling the fouls. Yeah, yeah. I watch your. I watch your uh, Twitter. And it was, everybody's like, you said it was the second time. I said no, it was the seventh time. <laughs> and my sons are great. Ball player when yeah, he yeah. goes in the you know inside the middle because he's a little smaller they don't call it and I'm like yo he got chopped he got foul at what point do you call a foul because now they're starting to foul him really hard and if my son gets hurt I'm gonna fuck you up yeah, yeah because yeah. it's on you to call that game now yeah I was a little out of because <laughs> yeah their mom said I walked on through the court cursed the ref out I walked away from the court and then I had another moment it was like. I ain't done. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I went back. Watch the video, yeah. And she went in slow motion. He said, now look at your son's face. And my son's head is down in his hands. Like, oh, my God. And his boy says to him, it was Sean, you going to get your dad? And Sean goes, no, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, what, what did you uh, talk to your son about on the way home from that game? Like, uh, did you... Uh, no, I actually threw myself out the game. Oh, really? Yeah, because they was trying to throw me out, and I said, "You, I dare you to touch me." I said, "I ain't going nowhere." And I thought about what had transpired. I was like, "I deserve to be kicked out. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'm gonna leave." That's, I left on my own. That's a, and so I, I got yeah. in the car and I drove home. And afterward, I told my son, "I was like, look, I just can't watch you get butchered like that and not yeah. say that." He goes. You know what, Dad? He says, because my son never complains. He's never, he never said, yo, ref, the foul. My son never says nothing. He just plays the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, mature. He was like, they were hacking me and fouling me very hard. And, and that one play that you came on, I, I had my wind knocked out of me. That's how, And I was like, well, then good. I, I don't yeah. feel like that much of an asshole anymore. No, nah, you're being a dad. Yeah. And yeah, sometimes, yeah. The, I think sometimes the dad role is to be a, a Change of an asshole. No, yeah. listen. My job is to protect my cubs. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and all the movie star shit goes out the window. You know, that's when nigger Marlin comes out. Uh, <laughs> that's when you know. That's when. Uh, that's exactly what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Gwen McSam goes to bed and Loke Dog comes out. There's different me's, and I that that when it comes to my kids, I don't care who it is. I'll fight you. That's yeah, my yeah. children. So what you're supposed to do. Even though they're 18 and 20 and probably could fight for themselves, still, they're my kids. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. very protective of my sperm that actually uh, was made it in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the other ones, I don't care I about the, the other starters. ones. Yeah, 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 the starters. Yeah, the starters. I don't, yeah. don't care about the other ones. I don't care fight uh, for all sperm. I, I put those everywhere. Just the ones I made. Yeah, yeah. When, uh, when, if, whatever you do, are you cognizant that so, because of who you are that someone could pull their phone out and film you at all times? Here's what's funny. I wasn't cognizant of it until I went and I realized what was happening. I went back. I cursed them out again and I went to turn around and I looked at the crowd and everybody had their phone out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everyone. The other coaches. <laughs> yeah. The kids. Yeah. The parents. The baby. Uh, everybody the had ba- their phone out. <laughs> now I got to commit to it. You know? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now fuck, yeah. all, fuck all y'all. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it's Once it, you're in it, I guess you just go. You yeah. just go with it. it Actually, um, I would make it an episode or something, eventually. 
But I'm a sports fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think that'd be a great episode or something because, like I said... Unfortunately, my TV show was canceled. Also, it would have been a great episode. Yeah, but you'll make it happen. You always do. You know, you land on your feet. You're creative. You're going to be in the the Aretha Franklin biopic? I'm in that. And I'm also in On the Rocks, which is Sofia Coppola's next movie. That's going to be uh, huge. Bill Murray and Rashida Jones. And then uh, I'm in Respect. And then I'm finished writing a movie. Uh, I'll probably be finished next week, and we'll go out with that one, uh, Buddy Action Comedy. Nice. And then, uh, yeah, man, then doing the tour, Under the Rainbow. And, uh, yeah, and I'm going to probably do a special. And a TV show. But Not busy at all, Tom. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing going on. Just I can't never just stop I working. Do. Never that stop. That Aretha doing. movie's gonna be mega huge. It's amazing. It's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be Listen, like it's amazing. Yeah. And I don't I don't ever big up stuff like this amazing. Yeah. It's giving me like Ray vibes. Like when that movie exploded, you know, and I think this could be even bigger. I, well, I'm I, a bigger Aretha I, Franklin fan I love than I am Ray. Ray Charles. I love Ray. Yeah, yeah. And I thought Jamie was oh, he's great. brilliant in the movie. It was awesome, but this I'm, movie I'm a bigger Aretha fan, so I'll Probably this movie, some other shit. It's just the story, the legend, the music, and when Jennifer Hudson sings yeah. Aretha Franklin, you have it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. At the point, I almost threw my my panties at the stage. <laughs> 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 I, I like I, she would make us jump out of character and forget what's what we characters, and I'd be a fan. Yeah, yeah, and be like, oh my god, did you hear that? No, it was like in every take, she did it. The same, but and different. And you get to play kind of a, a nasty guy, right? Yeah, like, uh, her abusive um, husband, first husband. Ted which Wyatt. I can't really see because that's good. you're always so nice in here. So yeah. I think that's going to be, I think that's good casting. It's because good. that's, to me, that's real. Because I'm sure in in it, that guy to everybody, he's like, oh yeah, he's a great guy. He's a nice I think guy. you see it when you see me threaten to shove uh, the ref's <laughs> yeah, 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 head up his own yeah, 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 ass yeah, yeah. at my son's game. You can game. always use but other than that, say, I did. Yeah, just say, I was using, I'm just practicing. I'm a method actor, man. That's exactly what Pacino I was doing. Does it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, um, it's a, it, and you're right, I think people aren't going to expect me to, you know that's not something I normally. I'm excited do. about it, man. And, uh, I swear, I, I'm I'm proud of me on this movie. I'm I'm proud of the movie. I think uh, I finally uh, have the right performance in the right movie. I think uh, the the first time we talked to you, Marlon, uh, you were talking about how it's actually easier for you to play a serious role rather than a comedic role. The comedy is hard, and you, we were talking about GI Joe, and you're like that 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 was easy for me. Like yeah, compared yeah. to all the comedy I do, doing comedy because he's naturally is hard. funny. That's you know, a, when you come yeah, in yeah. here, the first yeah. thing you know, you 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 have yeah. an energy, a comedic energy. You're funny. You yeah. know, it's just and people easy. give so Separatless. people give actors so much credit for now, serious not to roles, say, listen, though. drama's not hard. Yeah, yeah. But you've never seen this transition. You've never seen the. You've seen a lot of comedians go do great dramatic performances. It's very rare that you see a great dramatic actor yeah, yeah. go do an incredible comedic performance. Right. Yeah. That's, Barely ever. It's a hard transition. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard it transition. Daniel Day Lewis. Uh, do anything in the comedy or like you play any comedic role? I don't role. Even think I want to see that. <laughs> no, it sounds too intense. Can't do it. Mm. Sounds too intense for me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let Daniel Day Lewis do Miss Doubtfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't do it. Impossible. Oh, like, you didn't know, okay, that sounds so fucked up. I <laughs> might actually watch it. That's, it's, that's gonna be a completely darker movie. I feel like it's different, man. It's yeah. different. Not to say, but because even though he probably could do the acting of it, comedy is a different beast to yeah. be funny is a whole nother animal yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. um uh, so uh there are a couple things we were uh because yeah, i know i want to get him out of here because i know he's sleepy yeah we were laughing about uh and me and dana love pranks and oh my god and so uh we were looking into uh, uh a recent prank you were talking about but then going back and diving a little deeper and do an emmy's prank the emmy it, suit thing was pretty funny yeah, yeah. i didn't oh, know about that the joke was on me yeah, 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 i'm yeah. glad you guys found that funny <laughs> I, I didn't want, i mean like i didn't didn't know about that and, and, Bastards. and it's really fucked up I mean, I'm, I'm saving that suit <laughs> and do you still have it can you tell the story of what happened <sighs> <laughs> Why'd you have to bring it up? I'm sorry. Then I want to go into the firecracker dog poop after that. No, <laughs> no, my <laughs> God. One of yeah, one we're pulling out the grates. Pull all, all, all Marlin backfired. <laughs> all right, so the Emmys. My brothers were buying $3,000 suits for the Emmys. Hmm. I'm straight out of college. I made fifty thousand dollars for Mo Money. I bought a twelve thousand dollar car for my brother that was worth six. <laughs> and then they wanted me to spend fifteen hundred dollars on a suit. 
And I was like, I can't afford that. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, stop being cheap. I said, I'm not being cheap. Uncle Sam's coming to get 50% of yeah, this yeah. money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just bought a car from you, Sean. That's not worth the value that you said. <laughs> <laughs> like, and now you want me to say, and I, so I was like, I got rent. I don't have no money. And they're like, stop being cheap. So I was like, how about we do this? I'll go get like this little tux. And, or maybe I'll rent a tux. They go, don't rent a tux. You're going to look, you going to look corny. If you rent a tux, you're going to look cheap. I said, I I don't mind renting a tux. I said, how about this? How about I rent a tux, but I'll make sure it's really small. (laughs) And like Urkel's. Yeah, yeah. And so when we do the show, you and Keenan go, hey, Marlon. They go, where's Marlon? They go, hey, what's up with that little suit? And you guys could talk about my suit. So I called Damon up and I said, what do you think? Damon goes, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> so Damon calls Keenan and you know what's up? Mom keeps driving me crazy about this suit. Miss Sean, get him on the phone. Yo, what's up? Yeah, Sean. Damon keep, Marlon keeps driving me crazy about the suit. I know. He's fucking being cheap. Stop, about, stop being cheap and fuck get a suit. Keenan goes, hmm, no. Hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe there's something in this. So Keenan goes, Damon goes, no, Keenan goes, mm, I think we should let him do the whole soup thing. And then we don't pay no attention to it. <laughs> what do you mean? So he goes up there and we don't even pay attention to the fact that he got a little soup? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> and then, They're having a writer's meeting. Yeah. <laughs> fun to write then he'll look like a bum. And nobody says anything. <laughs> <laughs> They're writing a fucking sketch. So right before we go do it, I look Sean in the face. I go, Sean, you think this is going to work? He goes, yeah, <laughs> it's going to work. <laughs> And he kissed me on my lips. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you that part because uh, I didn't want to ruin how they sold now my it. My best so friend long. of all the brothers <laughs> kissed me on the lips and told me it was going to be fine. <laughs> I go on stage and they go, Hey, where's Marlon? And I slide in with my little suit and I had my shoes on my left feet and socks on, had the shoes on the wrong feet and the little suit. And they go, And I come sliding in and they're like, What the hell? And Sean and Keaton just start laughing and they go, and the nominees are. What do you think? Never what do you, think? you can hear me and go, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I start sweating. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And my brothers are just cracking up laughing at the fact that nobody acknowledged my bummy little suit. That's so, uh, that's oh hanging so, you out to dry. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they did me dirty. That's bad, bad. That's <laughs> they bad, did me da- dirty. And but Damon, a- who was sick at the time, he had like three or four virus. He had the coronavirus years ago. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He comes Patient by my one. house and he. I threatened to fight Keenan and Sean. I was so hurt, <laughs> yeah. oh. so mad. And Keenan was like, mm, "You sure you can go? It's not you." I was like, "Fuck y'all, <laughs> fuck you." I hope the living gonna get canceled. <laughs> 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 fuck you, Sean. I'm gonna tell everybody you really can't DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Damon comes by my house and he's wearing the little suit <laughs> and he's laughing so hard he's crying he has the little suit on and he does a handstand in the corner of my apartment <laughs> in the little suit and that was the first thing that part made me laugh because I looked at how ridiculous the little suit looked <laughs> yeah, yeah. and so that made me laugh but you know what I'm the youngest and Payback is a bitch. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Life is a long time. It's coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When they die, they're each going to wear the ME suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You're putting it on me? It's like too far. <laughs> I'm going to have a picture of each one of them in Dead a little in suit. The loose. All right. <laughs> in a little I think, suit. Uh, I think that's fantastic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay the funeral people because I got to handle it. I'm going to pay them. Just take this picture. <laughs> and I'm posting it on the gram. When all of them gone, they're all going to be in a little suit. Yeah, with a touching. You'll, you'll write something because you, no. you don't want people to pay attention. I'm going to write, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Payback is a bitch. Oh, man, that's awesome. So, uh, and then... Uh, Those sodas going to make you sh- fart. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, keep drinking. You told Why? me. I told you not to drink that I, anymore. I need the caffeine. No, but there's so many other things. He's looking out I for know. you, man. I He's having coffee. He's, I know. Uh, I know. I, I'm so... Uh, we didn't talk about that on air. Somebody in here shits out of the front of their ass. <laughs> 
know who that is. Somebody in here does. It's probably him. It's explosive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's something. Because yeah. those are you a front shitter? Those sodas make you like poo poo. My yeah. my stomach yesterday was uh, even Butler was sitting next to me. Yeah, He's like, yeah. you okay? I'm like, something's happening. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. How long have you been drinking those? That uh, we've been oh, ordering for months. I've been yeah. trying to get you off. Drink the like nine to twelve a day. <laughs> the really, and it doesn't hurt your stomach. No, he does. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I drink nine to twelve. I was so I used to drink like seven of those, and I was filming Haunted House, and my stomach was inflamed. Like I would feel like I have the shit, but I didn't. So I would fart, and it'd be so stink. We had to leave the house, <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, That's "Yo, what's going house, on?" Dude. I was like, "I don't know." I called my doctor, and I was like, "What's going on?" He said, "What did you do that's different?" I said, "I don't know. I changed it. I've been doing what you said. Changed the diet. I've been, I've had. I've been drinking these sodas, whatever name it was." Yeah. And he's like, "Oh." He said, you may be allergic to erythritol. I said, what's that? He goes, it's a, it's like a, a form of stevia, but it's erythritol. And some people are highly allergic to it. And you're probably one of those people. I'm like, my brother Sean could drink those all day. I can't. No shit. It just tears your stomach up? Kills me. God damn. If I have, if I have, your I, stomach makes noises all the yeah, yeah, time. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, huh? it, His make noises, mine stunk. <laughs> well, he would yeah, then yeah. go and shit and think up the whole thing. No, studio. but he'll sit on the toilet and not. Shit, yeah, yeah. and he'll be farting That's a lot gassy. in the bathroom, and then you'll shit, and he'll be like, "Yo," but it's just like you have a shitty stomach. It's those they fuck your digestion up. Yeah, goddamn it, go. it everything you uh, can't do nothing. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're just got off the you're crater, just allergic to it. Yeah, Not yeah. everybody yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. you and me. Yeah. Speaking of shit, uh, what, how did dog doo doo blow up in your face again? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you doing it? Why are you doing this to my friend? I'm, I'm sorry. We get, to, we, over. we get to see him like Fuck once. Tom and Dan. We get to, oh, my God. We get to do this once a year, and you're going to uh, make him uh, the most tell, embarrassing tell us moments. the worst shit. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, you're not. He's not. You know, you're not. And, as a matter of fact, keep drinking this. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> grape you. Try, you try the grape He's yet? trying to help you. you try, try the grape. grape up with the orange. Root beer. Uh, orange is, root beer is my favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so <laughs> we can end on this because one fine. year, yeah, <laughs> we used to Fourth of July mm. we buy fireworks mm. in the projects, and there was nothing more fun than blowing up a phone or blowing up a garbage can, yeah, yeah, mm. or putting firecrackers and dog shit. And make timers. So I used to make a timer where you take the gunpowder out and then you keep it at the bottom. And so you light it. And when people are walking, you time it about 10 seconds before they get there. And you light it. And when they're walking by, blop, the shit goes all over their pants. And mm. you just hide and laugh. <laughs> so I'm doing this to people all day long. Mm-hmm. So finally, I get this one big one, and I put a timer on it, right? It's like a whole, like... Yeah, great day. It's a bunch of <laughs> bunch of firecrackers underneath a big of an elephant poop. <laughs> and so I hid, and somebody walked by. I lit it. It didn't go off. Fuck. So I go over to check it. And I look, and it goes, Sabow! <laughs> and it blows up all over my face. Like a cartoon. <laughs> like there's just shit. <laughs> Elephant dog shit all over my fucking face. <laughs> That was a bad day. Yeah, Not as bad yeah. as the Emmys. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes tiny suits are worse than shit. Yeah, mm. they are. Mm. If you want to see him, you only got one show. You can yeah, check yeah. out theimprovorlando.com. Go there, check it out. Um, it's the late Sunday show, the recently added. Um, but I would call, check the website. Try yeah. to get tickets as quickly as humanly possible. Man, yeah. thanks so much for coming. Thanks in. for having me, brother. We I'll always take it easy. appreciate it. Thank and you, uh, guys, we'll see you on the Friday Free Show. Peace. Mm-hmm.